Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorize It, and today I'll be showing you how to program a Oximo RTS motor from Sonfi. And programming means that we'll be linking a remote control. Uh, we're starting from factory settings, and we'll be setting the upper and lower limit so that the motor will roll to these positions automatically once a button is pressed. Um, you'll need a few things. First of all, a motor, of course, which is installed in this uh, roller shutter behind me. You need a remote control and you need a pen. Um, I'll be using a Telus 4 remote control, which has five channels. Um, so the first step here is to, to select a channel. If you have a, a one channel remote control, there's no need to select a channel, of course. So let's start by selecting the channel, which is pressing the selector button, which I've done now for channel one. Um, if you want another channel, just press it again and it will move to a different channel. So I'll use channel two now because that's why it's on now. The first step now is to take control of the motor, which is done by pressing the up and down button at the same time. I'll do that now and you'll see the motor responding. So that means that this uh, remote control can now start programming uh, the roller shutter motor. The first thing to do is, uh, is check the, uh, the direction in which the motor is rolling um, because it can be placed on the left or right hand side. Um, so I press down and indeed it's going down. What if it's not the right direction um, when it's going up when you're pressing down? You can change that and you need to do that now because you can, this, this is the time in the procedure where that needs to be done. Once the motor is programmed, uh, you cannot change it anymore unless you go back to factory settings, reset it and start from scratch. So let's do it now. Um, I'll just change it. That's by pressing the My button for about three seconds. The motor will respond and the direction, of, uh, the, the direction in which it's rolling has now changed. So if I press up, it will go down. If I press down, it will go up. Obviously that's not correct in my, uh, my case, so I'll just change it again. Keep holding the My button until the motor responds. And now, as you can see, it's again running correctly. The next step is to set the lowest position. Um, so I'll go by pressing the down button to the position where I want to have the roller shutter in its lowest position. As you can see, when I press the button, I need to hold it uh, to keep the motor rolling. And that's to, to prevent you from, uh, from damaging um, the, the roller shutter by uh, having the motor roll continuously. So now it's in the right position. What I need to do now is confirm this position. And that's done by pressing the My and the Up button at the same time. Um, when you press them, the roller shutter will start rolling up. And you can then stop it at the position where you want it. And that position can also be corrected. So it's, it's fine if you stop the motor before the, uh, the end position is, has been reached. So I'll do that now. So it's rolling up, and I can stop it with this My button at any time that I want. Um, say I need to correct it, um, I'll press up or down as required. And then I need to confirm this position, which is done by pressing the My and the Down button. And again, the motor will continue to roll, um, start rolling and continue to roll until the Stop button is pressed. So I'll do that now. I'll press My and down. And I can stop it now because the upper limit has been confirmed already. Um, and I need to, come to, to memorize these positions, which is done by pressing the My button, holding it until the motor responds. I'll do that now. Keep holding it. So now these positions have been confirmed. There's only one more step that needs to be done, and that's actually closing the memory of the motor, which is done by turning the remote control around and pressing the prog button with your pen. Again the motor responds and everything has now been set. So when I press up, the motor will roll until the highest position has been reached. Again when I press down, it will also roll down to the lowest position. If you find that after doing all these steps you still need to hold the button for the motor to continue rolling, uh, something has gone wrong and the best thing to do is then reset the motor and start from scratch because it means that the memory is still open. Um, if anything else goes wrong or if you have any questions, um, leave a comment below um, or you can reach me via the website which is www.motorize.it. Thank you, see you next time.